A new update just rolled out from Meshi I think makes them the very best AI 3D model generation platform available online today. The new model is called Meshi 4 and you can use a text prompt or an image reference to make your 3D model. Right, I won't do a deep dive into this one, I'm just going to jump in and show off some of the version 4 generations. Um, seriously, seriously impressive. Okay, so jumping straight into Meshi and I'm already logged in and I'll include a video link in the description below which will be an affiliate link so I get a small kickback for making more AI content on YouTube. If you hang around to the end of this video, I've actually got a code you can use when signing up to get a potential 500 free credits as well from Meshi. Thanks Meshi. Typically in the past with Meshi, you always got best results with the text to 3D model approach, but to start off with, I'm gonna go with the image to 3D, explore that, and then I'll do a few generations using text to 3D as well. But you can quickly browse people's past generations or move over to the menu on the left. And if I go to image to 3D, you can see some of my more recent generations and I can click here and upload an image. First of all, I'm gonna try out an image of this cool sports shoe. And once you've uploaded the image, it will automatically write out a name for you. And you can see we now have Meshi 4 down here and I can press generate. I'm just going to get another one underway. And I've got this completely unrecognizable superhero that hasn't taken any influence from any existing IP. And we've got this lovely, adorable, snotty monster. This cute, adorable vintage robo dog. And this half metal, half human skull medley. A bottle of wine splashing in some more wine. And a completely made up pharmaceutical machine, some sort of DNA scanner. Okay, so first up we have our shoe generation and it's done a really good job at trying to match the image and you can see we've got this cool animation that they now do going from the textured to the original mesh and we can turn that off if we just want to look at the textured version. But yeah, really good. There's a little bit of quality loss in here, some blurred textures, but overall, considering they only had an image to base this on, it's done an amazing job. It's even done the underside, really, really impressive and it's got that fancy swoosh there on the side as well. Cool, and it's even actually got the inside as well. How cool is that? And then onto the snot monster. Not bad at all, not exactly matching our image, but you can see how it's taking a lot of the design ideas from that image. And I can definitely imagine him hopping around in a computer game, being a background character in an animated scene. Very cute. Then we have our robo dog. And yes, it's lost the pupils on the eyes and the legs aren't actually attached, but if anything, that would be quite useful for rigging. You'd be able to tidy that up. But yeah, not bad. Not perfect, but pretty impressive. And we have our half robot, half human skull. Very, very cool. It hasn't got the eyeball in here, but again, a really impressive mesh. And the fact that the AI knew to build out the skull like this, have this jawline inside, and our bottle of wine, which I think was going to be a tricky one for it to handle. but not bad for a single generation. And you could run this again to see if it improves. Maybe you'd separate this and have the splash as one component and the bottle as another, and then bring it together in your 3D package. And I ran this guy again. This time, I think it's even closer to our original. And here's our spidery hero. Not bad, it's made a few flaws in the texture, but the overall human pose is good. We have gained these extra blobs on the back, which you could quickly delete in your 3D package. Um, but yeah, pretty impressive again, just for a single image and a press of a button. And I ran our robo dog again. This time those legs are attached. The ears are a bit better and we have got the pupils. So you can see the value in running a couple of generations each time. Pretty cute. And again, you could imagine him being in the background with a nice shiny metallic texture, placing him in the background of an animated scene, perhaps increasing the metallic texture. And here we have that 3D pharmaceutical model. Again, a nice simple mesh. You could quickly place this in the background of a scene for a computer game or an animation. You might want to run it again a couple of times to see if you get slightly better texture alignment, but impressive nonetheless. And again, it even looks like it's got the inside model as well. Cool. Before I show off text to 3D using Meshi 4, I wanted to quickly show off how I've actually used Meshi 4 in a recent video. I actually used Meshi 4 to generate this robot model and I rigged it via Meshi before taking it into Blender where I manually animated a little bit of motion before exporting it out as a GLB file, dropping it into After Effects with some footage that I'd generated in Runway ML that I then motion tracked in After Effects, dropped the robot into the scene, added a plane for some shadows um, and that worked out pretty nicely. Um, that was part of a, another short video I was making just to show off some facial animation techniques 
um, as part of a paid course I'm releasing very soon. I'm about 75% of the way through generating all the course content. Um, and if you are interested, you'll find out more about the course over at AIanimation.com if you scroll down and click the hub. Um, otherwise, uh, head to hub.aianimation.com and I've currently got 60% off on the course as it's the first paid course. Um, so you can grab an early bird offer before it goes live. Okay, and now I'm going to jump in and explore the text to 3D using Meshi 4. So back on the menu, choose text to 3D and you can write out your text prompts here. You can choose your model. If you change from Meshi 4 to Meshi 3 Turbo, you can see some of the past options you had for other styles. I assume some of these will be added in the future. But if we go for Meshi 4, and you can write out a text prompt. And I'm just going to put a lion roaring and press generate. Now, whilst it does that, I'm going to quickly go past some of my previous generations as I've been testing out Meshi 4. So first up, I have Spider-Man dressed as Deadpool action pose. And unlike the earlier models, it now generates four high-res models for you to preview. And then when you're happy with one, you can press the texture button. And I did that for the last one, and we get this awesome result of Spider-Man dressed as Deadpool with a slightly cartoon texture, but he looks superb, very few flaws, very happy with that result. I then had it generate a bottle of wine splashing in a puddle of wine, and it produced these various models of a bottle smashing on the floor into a puddle of wine, and one of them I had textured, and it added a label, drops of wine in the sky, the reflective puddle on the floor, the cork at the end, that little glass there, really impressive. Maybe not perfect, but for a single generation, fantastic. I then prompted for a tired old man's head with big bushy beard, realistic, and it produced four pretty decent models, lots of quality here, and again, texturing a couple of them. The level of detail on this beard really is impressive. The pupils are slightly wrong, and maybe there's a few things wrong on top of the head, but as I've shown in past videos, you could go and use the AI texture editing or smart healing, select parts of the texture and have it regenerate them. And again, this one, you could have it regenerate to fix the eyes, but the level of quality in that mesh, the detail, the texture, really, really impressive. And he's got a bit of green in his hair. Maybe he's been out playing in the woods. I then generated a cute snot monster and we've got our four models here. Really good. And this is the textured version. Love the color. And again, we could use that AI texturing to fix the pupils. And if we wanted to, we could use the animation feature in Meshi and set the various markers to be able to add a rig and have our character walking, running, and then download that into Blender or delete the animation from it and use the rigged character. Next, I had it produce a cute robo dog made of metal. And this was the result, which was pretty flawless. He looks anatomically correct for a robot dog. I then prompted for a hot pink sports basketball shoe and we got this result, which is arguably better than the image to the 3D model one I did earlier. The laces on this look a bit smarter, the texture's looking good, and it's also hollow on the inside. Really, really impressive. I then went for a fierce dragon quadruped, dark gray, matte skin scales, hyper realistic, super detailed, high detail, 4K. And I think the result speaks for itself. And here is the lion we left going in the background. Lion roaring, various different ones here. I think that one looks pretty awesome. Okay, so that's been a very quick look at the new Meshi update with their new Meshi 4 model, covering both the text to model and image to model approaches. If you are interested, the first 10 people to head over to Meshi and sign up using the promo code AI animation, all capital letters, no spaces, will get an extra 500 free credits. Thanks very much, Meshi, for that one. Um, so yeah, really impressive tool, and I will no doubt explore it more in the future. Thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in things around AI animation, looking at ways to combine AI tools with more traditional digital animation techniques, please press subscribe and like, and let me know if you've seen any other cool 3D, 2D AI tools out in the space. Thanks very much. Cheers.